Hi, I'm going to have a go at some autumn leaves again today. I just think it's such a fantastic time of year for getting lots of texture and colour into your paintings. So I've been out this morning and picked lots of little bits of things. There's horse chestnut, there's oak, there's beech, a bit of everything in there, some ferns, and you can see all the different textures and shapes and some of these lovely crinkly leaves. Uh, much more interesting to paint than the leaves during the summer time. And in there we've got some conkers and things as well. There weren't actually as many conkers as we have in a usual year, but um, I've got one or two conkers in there. So all sorts of bits and bobs, and of course you can get berries and fruits and things at this time of year. And you could do a complete painting of something like that, just as if it was a, a woodland floor. Um, okay, so I'll just pop those out of the way. So I started this demonstration earlier. I actually teach here at home in my studio. Um, so this is something we were doing this morning and I thought I would carry it on with you. So I began by doing this conquer. I did a little drawing using this little retractable pen, it's a, uh, pencil. It's a very, very fine pencil, but it's nice for getting a little bit of detail in. And then I used a, just a few colours, some nice browns, and I did actually put a little wash of red over the top of it afterwards because um, I did feel that it wasn't just as red as it should be. So this is the conquer itself here. And you can see they have some lovely patterns in them uh, and shades, shapes. And I've perhaps not got it as shiny looking as I would have liked, but it was just a, quite a rushed little demonstration whilst, uh, whilst I was teaching this morning. So the next object that I'm going to do, I don't know if you can see it here, I've got it drawn in already, is this little leaf here. And like I was saying, isn't it fantastic, all the colours in there, the depth, the texture, the shapes, everything about that's quite lovely. Much, much more interesting than doing a green summer leaf that's in perfect condition. So I've put it at quite an angle and we can just sort of see both sides. We can see the outside here and we can see the inside. And I'll carry on and paint that. Usually I paint, um, as you've probably seen with a lot of my videos, wet in wet, where I wet the leaf first and then start working into it. I'm not going to do that today, I'm going to work onto a dry piece of paper to try and build that detail up a little bit more than I would normally. Okay, um, so I'm going to put some music on whilst I do that and at the end I'll pop a picture on of the finished thing. So, you know, you don't, if you're wanting to practice your drawing, if you're a beginner at drawing, you don't need to spend a lot of money, um, you know, printing off photographs and things to draw from. Just pop outside your door and pick up a leaf and have a go. Um, even if you just do a pencil drawing, if you don't have any paints, just look at all that detail and at where all those shapes are going. You know, you could spend all afternoon drawing that. It's quite a complex thing. So it's all about observation. Keep looking and enjoy your drawing. Um, if you enjoy my videos, please do give me a thumbs up. And also you can, of course, subscribe if you want to see some more. And if you have any comments or suggestions, anything that you'd really like me to show you, just pop them in the comments section below. And I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Thank you.